but by no means least is Mr Ashworth and I will afford you extra time because I hope this is not your last speech but if it is you have extra time. <laughs> well I look forward to having extra extra time next time then President. Thank you. Uh, President Tusk, uh, may I, President Tusk, on behalf of a million people on the streets in London, on behalf of six million people who have signed the petition and on behalf of 63 percent of the British population who did not vote for Brexit, I want to say thank you. I want to say thank you to this House for the support you're showing. And I want to reassure you that Nigel Farage does not speak on behalf of that 63% of the population. <laughs> May I add as a comment to the European people that for over 25 years now, no British Prime Minister ever explained to the British people what Europe did, what are the benefits, and why it matters. They never defended against the untruths which were spoken, and they never took ownership of the decisions that they took in council. And because of that, the British press ran a 20-year campaign based on populist mistruths lies and deceit and the consequence of that we see today in Britain is a sad nation divided like never before and a house of commons in crisis so let Brexit stand as a cautionary tale to the people of Europe to the people of Europe I say this you are the generation who have lived through the longest period of peace and the greatest level of prosperity ever. Never take it for granted. Value it. Fight for it. Defend it every day. Thank you. Thank you.